The sponsor of this episode is Green Chef. Happy New Year's, everyone. Make this year's resolution a breeze by building healthy habits with Green Chef. It's got nutritious recipes and the number one meal kit for clean eating. Yes! Green Chef offers unique farm-fresh ingredients, organic fruits and veggies, and premium proteins. So go to greenchef.com slash 60bigname and use code 60bigname to get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. That's greenchef.com slash 60bigname and use code 60bigname to get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. We need to talk about it. Yeah, we do. We, it's, time. We gotta, it's time, you guys. I, listen, I know you don't want to talk about it, but I think we should. Okay. My Let, banks. Let's talk about it. Let's them. talk about my banks. Oh, Christy. I know. What were you thinking? Listen, I was thinking that I needed a change. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm, laughing at, <laughs> I'm laughing already because like, it sounds so mean. First of all, I love your freaking bangs. They're so cute. They suit you so much. Thank you, baby. Yes, especially this one that's doing something on its own. It wasn't before, and now it is. <laughs> they have a mind of their own. That's how the bangs. Do you go. know how you know that you're like a, like me approaching forty? Mm-hmm. I personally don't care about what um, I like. I take risks, and also I'm the kind of person who will take risks that are calculated. So, like, I've literally <laughs> been talking about getting bangs and changing my hair for like like six months okay, okay. I've, ta- I've literally like so when when i went to my hairstylist he was like oh yeah you've been saying this and when i went to my husband he was like oh yeah you've been saying this yeah we're sick of you saying it just Say, do just it. fucking do it so yeah. like i do i do do things on occasion mm-hmm. and then i don't care if it's perfect like legit like i think like some people oh, we know like, christy we know i honey. know, I know. <laughs> i'm just kidding I why am i being so I mean to you it. for it's no good. reason it's fine i love it i deserve <laughs> it i kind of like it i know kinda it's kind of dirty off. you are so cute with bangs Thank i mean you you told me that you told me that the other day uh, is there anything you want to tell me um, I really like your hair because you put toner in it. She told me she put toner in it and it's like beautiful because it's like got the blonde still Thanks. underneath. I was just kidding. With I the mean, red. I just meant, I, I wanted oh, you, you to look actually, good. Thank you. I wanted you to that comment on speaking of bangs on my terrible bangs that I've had my, I had during oh, my childhood on the blunt, show. You had blunt bangs. Those were terrible. I didn't, I didn't remember them though. Oh, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Yours are I not that. I only remembered you looking like this. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. When did you have the bangs? Well, <clears throat> when you wore that black dress. When I wore the black dress. Speaking of dresses, I love what you're wearing right oh, now. Yay. Yes, don't we look cute? We're wearing a Stilo, oh, a we Stilo love brand. A Stilo. Oh, we love a we Stilo. Love you. Straight out of Austin, Texas. They're yeah, fabulous. They're you know, family. They don't only clothe us, they also clothe a lot of people, a oh, lot yeah. of the transformation people, um, people who are transforming into their new better mm-hmm. selves on Queer Eye. I know. Did you, you know told that? me yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, you didn't know, but now you do. I do. I, the, the, it's a really, really high end, I wouldn't say high end high-end boutique, but it it does. Mm -hmm. It has all the best, I feel like, fashions out that aren't necessarily Chanel and Mm -hmm. all that. So it's like an accessible boutique. It's it's ready-to-wear fashion. For sure. And I feel like it's my style. Speaking of, I should drink this. Oh, cheers. Oh, my God. I love this drink that we have today. Mm. Guys, the mocktail, of course, is Lauren's recipe, and it is in our description. Um, someday we'll have to have Lauren on. Mm-hmm. She's literally pregnant. So I think like it's going to be a minute. So you she know? really shouldn't be mixing she's, she's, she's busy. She's a yeah. busy lady. So I personally, like I said, I wait for trends to be pretty solidified mm-hmm. in order for me to take the, the risk. Yes. I calculate the risk. But then I will do something different mm-hmm. just because. And so when people are like, Christy, you're thirst trapping on TikTok. Mm-hmm. You're doing different things with your your face. She's, glowing, she's glowing up a lot of times. Uh-huh. I hear like, oh, she's better looking now at you know 40 than she is and i'm oh. not even 40 yet by the way how mean but i'm just saying she's better looking at 60 than she was when she was ran she's, she's like, like excuse me I i'm not even 40 what's but happening also, i'm a teenager you know what i mean like totally totally they, no we're settled compare. into ourselves for sure for oh sure. i definitely ha- think the glow up how do you happens. feel about fast fashion oh i did i mention the drink i didn't mention the drink Wow, we're what's wrong with what's us? Wrong with us? We're so ADD, <gasps> but somehow I like totally understand what you're talking about. And I, I honestly, with the amount of weed I've smoked in my life, yeah, I love weed. Other things, yeah. My husband's like, you should smoke weed again. I'm like, no. What part oh, of being sober? Why, do what you did not he? Think? Yeah, what did he Look, like about that though? Well, That's interesting. I think he liked that it would make me horny. But then oh. I think like, no, but what, what do you do now? What do you do now to I, get horny? To get horny, I just wait. <laughs> I read a really fascinating article I recently. I wait and I wait and I wait. And then some days it will hit me. Yeah. It's, it's, it's hard. It's, it's hard. It's I, I read that women in their 30s, they, they really lose their, their drive. It's really, really hard. I read that women in their 40s are like hornier than ever. Mm. Oh, I hope so. 
What do you mean? You have sex all the time. I do. I do. But it's hard to. Thank God love you. It's hard to. eight hours it's of sleep hard a to, night. To, 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 to go like this on Real Housewives of New York. Like this. To pause it? Uh-huh. Okay. I was like, what are we doing? We're, that, we're pausing, so we're pausing a remote for those of you listening. I guess this could be something else. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> That could be something. <laughs> what is that? I don't know, but I'm going to find out tonight. You were burping another time ago. Uh-huh. You were burping and it was it was sending me. Your burp is the cutest burp I've ever heard. Christy, <laughs> that is the nicest thing you've ever said to me. I can't. So if you hear me snort, it's in reaction to anything on Elisa does. We have a great drink today. We also have an amazing guest. But our drink, it's kind of dedicated to the guest. And we didn't even talk about it really, but she's not in this movie, but apparently IMDb had a typo and said that she was in this Cat in the Hat movie. Oh, that's right. Isn't that funny? So this is like a Christmassy, like yummy, um, fake like Kahlua Bailey's type deal. Mm-hmm. Um, but it was real. it's a really tasty drink. It is really tasty. And I'm, I'm really getting into mocktails now. I think Yay. I'm going to stop ordering Diet Cokes and actually start ordering mocktails. I think it's worth the calories. This was fabulous. This oh, was so delicious. It had um, a Liar's Dark Rum and then it has uh, hot coffee and whipped cream and chocolate. What a good name, Liars Dark Rum. I know, right? right? Yeah. If it's actually Liars sponsor us, we would love that. And alcoholics are liars, so we probably would be drink- <laughs> <laughs> drinking a mocktail. <laughs> yeah, mine's not alcoholic. I love it. Oh, no, have you seen Jimmy Fallon? Did you see this recently? Oh, yeah. Isn't, what's happened oh, with him? No. He got in trouble. I guess he, I think he was drunk, girl. Mm. You know, because he didn't has he, like, been a long it, time alcoholic. He keeps hurting himself. Right, right, right. Oh, no. Mm-hmm. Didn't he hurt himself once a couple years ago and then again? Yes. That is yeah. so sad. And What's then, going like, on? They're saying it's problematic, but then Jay but then Jay I have Leto, no but idea. Like, he Jerry. had a toxic work environment, and then he apologized That's for so it. That's so vague, but yeah. okay. I Somebody mean, felt upset. Who hasn't had a toxic work environment? Every time I get on set with big name bitches, it's t- No, I'm just well, kidding. Well, I'm going to tell you right no, now. No, I'm going to tell you. We are understaffed, and these people are overworked. No, no, no. This set is fabulous. I love them. But I've worked in loads of toxic work work environments oh yeah uh-huh tell me about it stud that's from Greece. Ah! <laughs> i love that you had, you told me that as if i don't know tell me about it stud i had to i had to preface that the folks at home no i know all about greece and having toxic shock syndrome through greece remember oh wow that is a redirect if i have ever heard one thank no, but you what, that jimmy that jimmy thing is interesting i don't know i don't know how, how are we sp- and the lizzo thing no, right? no let's talk about toxic work environments okay um i've definitely been in them it's hard to what work. toxic work environment have you been in there were days on sets that i've been on <laughs> I think I'm making it obvious where it gets toxic where not everybody's in a good mood mm. and um, I, here's here's what we should ask really what does toxic mean okay. because people are throwing that around and it's like Whoa. Do, what is toxic is it abu- this, do you mean yeah. abuse yeah, or do you yeah. mean no people aren't nice to you because sometimes right. you need people to be tough sometimes you need direction Some, there's got to be a leader a he- person at the helm I mean <laughs> I definitely have I have drank uh, I have drank d- during work okay and um, I don't know if this is for, like for another episode, but um, okay. me as Annalisa in my sober state, I have never been toxic, mean, unkind to anyone mm-hmm. um, ever. But mm-hmm. and, and I would even say that I've never been mean or unkind while under the influence. Um, during, I was just messy. During work. Yeah, yeah you were messy. I was really terrible to my boyfriends. I will tell you that much. What'd like, you do to them? Um, I think I remember throwing like a huge bag of dog food at one of my exes. We were like in a fight mm-hmm. and like I decided that I would throw a big bag of dog well, food. Well, it sounds like that's heavy and yeah, can like, be hurtful. What, I don't know what I was thinking. Like, you know, when you're, when, you're, when you're drunk and you're angry at someone and you just think you have more strength than you do. Who do you miss more, the dog or the dog? Um, um, what do you mean? Oh, the dog, like that alcohol? No, I guess that didn't play well. I meant like, oh. you obviously had a dog if you had dog food, and the guy was obviously a dog if you had to throw oh, dog food at him. Oh, I definitely don't miss that dog. Ah. That dog had to be put down a long time ago. <laughs> and the other dog died, so I'm dogless. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If you were going to say your current person that you're with, Jono, mm-hmm. who's here in the studio. Current person with that I'm with for now. Yeah, if he doesn't fuck for it now. up. If he doesn't drop the, what do they call? Fumble the bag. That's what they call it. Um, uh, that's what the kids say. Okay. Fumbling the bag. Fumbling, I w- he fumbled I, the bag. I, I it sounds like it has to do with sports and I'm not interested. Yeah, I get it. Um, yeah, don't even get me started on that. Uh, we still haven't named the couch, but don't worry. It's coming back, it's coming. guys. It's coming it's back. It's coming back. <laughs> Actually, we'll take suggestions. Who? Oh, shit. Yeah. Yes, we should take suggestions. Also, I'd love it if our audience, instead of telling us we shouldn't cuss anymore, you, shut fuck the you, fuck up. Fuck you. We're, shut, we're in our 40s. Shut the fuck up. We're almost in our 40s. And also... Um, but we do love our audience. So we, we do, of course. That, and we, we love... Pro- we say that with love. And we love constructive criticism. So please tell us what you want to hear about. No, no. There's a difference, okay, guys, between constructive criticism that will actually help us be better at what we do mm-hmm. 
And 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 then there's some demoralizing shit people try to say. Mm -hmm. Now you're not affected by that stuff. No. Oh, we need to talk about me googling myself. Oh God, <laughs> you guys. Christy told me the other night. No, oh, no, I'm not lying. I'm gonna look right into the camera. I'm looking over here. This is crazy. That you really are falling off the fucking couch. <laughs> this is crazy. No, yes. you have to. Yes. No, you, you guys wait. Wait, I want to tell you about this. I want to tell you about this. You're not going to believe it. You're wild. You're out of control. All right. You better? Hi. Are you good? Is this home? Oh, no. Is this where I should learn to be happy? Do, 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 do. Never dreamed that Christy was such a bitch. Yeah, big name. Big name, bitch. Um, Christy told me the other day, no joke, that she, I'm not kidding you guys, she Googles herself every single day. That's yeah. crazy, Christy, and I'm judging you. I'm judging you hard. Okay. Why? What is different on the Google, first of all, from one day to the next? Okay. I understand looking at your TikTok numbers or your mm -hmm. Instagram numbers, but the Google thing, explain, because okay. that is nuts. I, I'm excited to uh, unpack this with you, Annalisa. Yeah. I Google you as well every day. Every day? <laughs> no, really? Why? Um, not every day. You not every day. Okay, here it Me comes Me every out. day. I'm addicted to Googling myself. I don't think I'm alone. I feel like there's probably a lot of people, especially in our situation, that are transitioning from one part of their career to different parts of their career. The sponsor of this episode is Green Chef. Happy New Year's, everyone. Make this year's resolution a breeze by building healthy habits with Green Chef. It's got nutritious recipes and the number one meal kit for clean eating. Yes! Green Chef offers unique farm-fresh ingredients, organic fruits and veggies, and premium proteins. Savor Green Chef's seasonally inspired recipes where we celebrate the preak ingredients, flavors, and freshness of every season. Elevate your everyday wellness with the number one meal kit for clean eating and discover new gut-friendly recipes each week. Oh my gosh, I love Green Chef. I am such a fan. Um, I'm not really the best cook in the world ever. My sisters um, tell me that all the time. They're so mean. But with Green Chef, I kind of feel like a cook now. I feel like really a chef, a green chef. A, a, a redhead chef, a, a cute chef, a chef nonetheless. <laughs> um, I love Green Chef. I love the fresh ingredients. I love that I don't have to go to the grocery store and that I get to cook everything um, myself while, while really feeling like I'm eating healthy. I think Green Chef sees that as important. It sees I'm um, feeding your family. Uh, it's important to feed your family healthily in a, in a clean way. And, um, but they don't skimp on the fanciness of it, the beauty of it. Honestly, I had my sisters over the other day because I told them I wanted to make them a surprise meal. And they were like, what? You're going to make something? That's crazy. We don't believe you. You don't cook. And I made, made them the um, cheesy pesto chicken. And uh, they were so impressed. They couldn't believe it. They were like, how did you get this chicken so juicy? How are these vegetables so fresh? And I said, easy, super easy. Two words, green chef. So go to greenchef.com slash 60 big name and use code 60 big name to get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. That's greenchef.com slash 60 big name and use code 60 big name to get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. So what are you waiting for? Go to greenchef.com right now. Here's the deal. I used to do it a lot with people that I felt like I needed to keep tabs on. Like, um, I remember when Ooh, I was the like- The control aspect. Like, if I can control their career, if I, as long as I'm ahead of the game and I know they booked something that I didn't book, I totally or, get or that. Or even like exes. Like, in general, I had a really toxic relationship to needing to feel like I had control by understanding where people were at every at any point in time. Totally. It also comes back from like, my dad was very much like a very protective Sicilian dad and was like always keeping tabs of everybody mm -hmm. to the point where he like bugged like the telephones in our house at one point. That's crazy. Yeah, he he kind of had like ties to the CIA. mob and stuff. To, and whoa. Yeah, so it was just like weird. Like these are random things to say, but it's it's just all in the past, right? Right. And so my relationship to my content creation is almost like I'm a I'm not really myself. I consider myself like a brand. And so when I'm managing my brand with the energy that I have, I have to like look at myself as like, as if I'm just putting investing in my but brand. On the, but on the daily, Christy, what's on Google that's different? So, that changes? well, you and I, and generally people in the in the millennial throwback space, uh -huh. they get written up about a lot. Like we always have new um, articles about us. Where are they now? Or you know, like a lot of times, if I'm looking that up, I'm finding 
people who are similar to me to be guests on podcasts oh, of, of ours. Of course, you're doing your research. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. I would say that uh, I would say that 80 percent of it mm -hmm. is truly me trying to stay informed about the the marketplace okay. of throwback culture, All right. and and also just like what I mean to people. And I'm not taking it personally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to truly understand my value. Okay, I forgive you. Okay. There you go. And that's just what it is. I think like we can all have our things. Mm -hmm. And like, I feel like of all the crazy ass things that people mm -hmm. do, mm -hmm. I just don't think it's that. And I mean, is it narcissistic? I don't know. You all can constructively criticize me in the comments. I think it's just your job. And I think it's an addiction that ha kind of has to be an addiction in a way because I, of our business. But shit, it's a, I call it a narcissistic purgatory for a reason. Cause it's like the more you want to get away from your identity, mm -hmm. the more you, and then I feel like the more I have to lean into the past. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, so I just try to have this very like healthy relationship to it. I know my husband's always like, Christy, like, why, why do you need to, you know, do that? So I've set a limit on my phone. Good, yeah. But after a certain day, we were at a meal the other day together, and Christy's phone said, "No more, girl. You got to get off your phone." I was like, "What? You set a limit on your phone? Yeah. Like, wow, I've never yeah. had to do that. No. I mean, I've been addicted to things, but never my phone, never technology. Mm -hmm. You couldn't pay me a million dollars to get addicted to. Actually, that's not true. That's what I'm being paid to do. Big name bitches. So. <laughs> I changed my mind. <laughs> I let's get my that, mind. that sponsor money and let's yeah. get it up for you to be addicted to your phone. Yes. Well, let's um, bring out our, our guest, shall okay. we? Our fabulous. I fabulous. Feel very, I feel very exposed right now, but you know what? I'm Do okay. you? That was like the least sorry, it's but that so was bad, not very right? juicy, girl. It no. Wasn't? No. But maybe people. Maybe will... if you said it with your left tit out, but oh, no, you that was that not exposed. Should yeah. I do it? Do it. No, That'll definitely. I can't do it. Come on. Brendan won't be that mad. <laughs> It'll get us to the top. But we were on two. We're two. We're podcast number yeah. two. Let's yeah. get to one. Let's get to one at oh, any you have given to do point. It. Show one to get to one. No, I can't do it. Show one to Don't get to one. Don't ask me to take my titties out. I've seen them already. They're great. Yeah. Um, Christina Kirkman. Christina Kirkman. Yep. She is a great friend of the pod yeah. because of her crazy, wild, chaotic energy that you can see on her TikTok or her dog's TikTok or her dog's TikTok. She, I mean, what I know her from is when she was named uh, the funniest kid in America when she auditioned and, and booked the Are You All That? Yeah, amongst like the entire competition. country. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and joined the the second season. But or she's the ninth she, season, excuse me, of Are You She's grown ass woman I and I love her take on things. So let's enjoy our little convo with Miss Christina Kirkman. Woo woo. Bitch, 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 bitch. Bitch, bitch. Oh my goodness. Christina. I, sorry, Christina. I, got, I got really nervous. <laughs> Christina, Christina. Oh my gosh. Hi. Don't be nervous. Christina has no, her I hoops in. I'm just, I feel so far away. Fuck, I shouldn't have. You, you know, so I want the, the camaraderie us. is just lacking there. I, I know, I know. But I feel your energy, Christina you. Kirkman. And it's so, I'm so glad you're here. Me we were just talking about endometriosis, which is fascinating. Sure. So sexy. You're so Keeping hot. Sexy. And That's where you get that very sharp pain in your butthole, I Yeah. Butthole, though? Yeah. We're starting off strong. Sure. We're starting off strong. We're going right for it, guys. I think, why not get right into it? Perfect. By the way, we're drinking this amazing mocktail today that is in honor of a movie that apparently you weren't in. Yeah, I wasn't. It's absolutely It's like well, the cat in the hat and it's something about a cat in the hat and it's adorable and we'll tell you all the ingredients. Cheers, Christy. Perfect. But I mean, it's like- Cheers, guys. It, it Cheers. tastes like Kahlua, but not Kahlua. It's, it's mocktail. Delicious. Mm. It, it really smells is. like Christmas in a cup. Fucking A. And like the garnish, good job, team. Yeah. And my favorite part's the whipped cream. Yeah. Mm, How totally. about you, Christy? Christy, will you just look at me so I can, this bit can be over? <laughs> oh my God. Hey, you got something on your nose. What? Where? <laughs> you, would you- Out of here? Would you- Would you- You have more value than this. <laughs> She's doing. Would stooping. you take yourself I, seriously? I don't. <laughs> you are a big name bitch. Thank you. And so are you. I'm and so like are you. I am not Kirkman. a big name bitch, but no, I'm a no. big. But I'm a bitch. But so I feel are. like I can be here. Totally. I'm sorry Should to I interrupt. Your nose? Yes, please. Should I get it off? Yeah. Is it still on? No, you look beautiful. I don't want people to think I do She's coke. my bagel I don't do that anymore. She's my bagel I take baby. care of her. Um, listen, you don't aren't, you, you may, may not be a big name bitch, but you are, a and bitch. you always will be, the funniest kid in America, which is pretty insane. I don't know. I Am I still? Uh, am I you, still you until will always they have hold that another one? Or is it... What? I mean, I meet a lot of Nickelodeon kids versus Disney kids, right? Like mm -hmm. with Vulnerable. Actually, Christina was on Vulnerable. And I fell in love with her spirit. And I was like, she's a big name bitch. She has to come on. You are. And vibe nice. with us here. Cute. But it's super exciting because I even with the Neds, like declassified mm -hmm. folks that have their pod with Podco, it's so cool to see them vibe together. Right. Yeah. There's something about the chaos of the, of the Nickelodeon like talent pool that is just like, especially with like all that. Like, oh, yeah. I mean, it was a fucking party. We just like, that was that, I, I I mean, that was the environment that I was raised in, right? Mm -hmm. It was just a giant playground of 
fucking around with with everybody and I feel like anytime, it wasn't competitive because like we hear no. a lot that SNL I mean I, also keep in mind I was the youngest one right mm. so I wasn't you got a free pass yeah well I mean there was no I was 10 like I yeah. I, I was it's crazy so honored and excited to be there like every day I showed up I was just like oh my god right. I, I get to work with like my idols this is insane I'm sure for maybe the ones that were a little bit older and kind of in the same pool. I'm sure there was probably some some competition oh, I'm there. Sure. I also wasn't a child like I accidentally fell into being a child actor. Mm -hmm. I didn't yeah. go to castings. So you you were born in Massachusetts. You're a master, yeah, just like yeah. my boyfriend Jono. This just yeah, he's I didn't here. know he's that. Here. That's he's why from I love him so totally much. Fuck. Here. Okay, yeah, yeah. perfect. <laughs> yeah. Um, Would you guys like just like you just mass hold it up? You just like vibed. Oh yeah, I, I just what I have you. a thing about East Coast people, and I think we talked about we this. Did. I just fucking vibe with East Coast people. And I can spot them. I can just pick them out in a crowd. I love my East Coast people. I well, why don't you and my boyfriend get a room? How about that? Oh, Maybe we will. Why don't you guys start doing it? <laughs> okay, guys. Look, okay. I will say this. Does she seem like she's from the East Coast to you? Totally. That, Where are she's you? not. Where are you from? Hell. Okay. Also, that, that's Sent also from down below. <laughs> are, you no, don't no, really answer the question. Don't deflect. Sorry, I'm I'm from Europe. I was born in Holland, which Perfect. I'm also I don't seem like that either. But I'm, Wait, I'm are you Hall serious? Yes, I was born in Europe in in Holland. Um, <laughs> let me repeat that again. I was born in Europe. Which Holland is in Europe. What? Um, <laughs> but I've lived in California in America most of my life. Yeah. No way. So she's it's not that. I moved here when I was very young. Import. I'm an import export. I do a lot I of importing export. I love that. <laughs> no, I love that. I love that. I'm for it. Thanks, thanks. But okay, you do give you us. do give East Coast energy. Can you sing yeah, the yeah, Star Spangled yeah. Banner, please? <laughs> no. <laughs> but you know what it is? She's too kind to be East Coast. No, one hundred percent. Because East Coast people, they, they, there's just that like grit that's there. Yeah. She's just she's she's too nice. Yeah, yeah. So I think you're very nice. Thank so like you. for example, like you could cut a bitch. Oh, I, one fucking thousand like percent. Like you could backhand a bitch. No, but here's the you thing. Could I am actually into a backhand. I am like we would have her back. Wait, we have yeah, to, like, but like I. A lot of it oh, is yeah. a facade. I, I I am a very kind human, I but mean... like if you cross me, I <laughs> yes, I will absolutely cut a bitch. Yeah, but for the most part, I'm I'm pretty tame. We talked a lot about this too before Christina and I about like how we're both Sicilian. Yeah, well, there's that, and there's certain stereotypes that sort of play out, Give and we some. were like. But we were like, why? Why are Sicilian yeah. women so vengeful and can get really angry? Because we have to deal with Sicilian men. Yeah, well, that's for sure. Just Italian men in general. I mean, that's true. Jesus. Have you ever dated an Italian guy? No. What, who's the worst Italian man you've ever been around? Well, I mean, where like I grew up in Massachusetts and everybody was either Irish or Italian. Mm. And it was just... Of course. You know, it, yeah. it, it, that's it, why it, I married an Irish guy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was just like which we which of the two evils do you want? You know, right, right. I mean, you got to pick one. Okay, let's go. Let's just go back, venture back. So, um, are you all that? There was a big competition. You were ten years old. You yes. auditioned. You put yourself on tape. I sure did. You sent it in. You went. Oh, I'm sorry if you went over this already in vulnerable. Well, but I want, she wants I'm to not know. On she wants to know. And I want to know because I really, I really do think you're so talented. I feel like you should be. Um, we have so still many. On I mean, we Thank only you. have talented people on this podcast. Of course, Thank but you very much. you're so good with the TikToks. I know that's like well, it's wild to me to see her go from like it's almost like you're tapping back into that that that's mechanism that you sort of like harnessed when you were in the all that phase. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like that? Yeah. Like, I, I mean, I think that's why I, I like gravitated towards it. And I we talked a little bit about this too, where for a while I was on a show before you know the panorama, and then. I was like, I don't want to get on TikTok because I was so afraid of like being the TikToker and then trying to get out of that mold. Right. And then I just like, you know, had this moment of like, okay, why do I love to act? I love fucking entertaining mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. Why would I pass up the opportunity to em entertain people for a possible opportunity that might not happen anytime soon? Mm -hmm. um, and that's, I mean, I, I feel like that's why I love TikTok is like, I... I'm in control of the creative mm -hmm. where it's like when you're an actor until you're the one percent and even then like you're auditioning you're for shit that you don't day. like <laughs> you hate the fucking script totally. you're playing a character totally. you maybe don't like like totally. it's rare that you like love the script you love the character yeah. you love the people you work with so at least with TikTok it's like I am in control yeah. of of the creative of so everything yeah creative I have outlet. so much fun um who's funny in your family you're so funny Was my dad you? yeah I mean they're both they're both super my both my parents are funny but my yeah. dad when I the actually this is I probably shouldn't say this but I didn't watch all that growing up I only what? I know I know guys I'm so I feel like I just like you know yeah, it's good the curtain uh, yeah I only watched cartoons don't, don't be silly what? I like Spongebob to this day Spongebob is my favorite 
show of all time. It is a good show. Um, I actually, my college thesis was we had to take like one form of art and like transform it into another medium. And I made SpongeBob an adult swim show. And I oh, watched like dope. 300 episodes and I just extracted all of the like, lines out of context and it's fucking dirty it's a dirty oh, ass totally show. like totally. They, they get away with it because he's a sponge i mean there's there's a, a a scene where um spongebob drops the soap uh -oh. and mr krabs looks at him and says don't drop the soap so and good. winks and i'm like what the prison fuck? guys like prison. i was watching yeah it's just insane how dirty it is and taken out of context so i loved animation mm -hmm. but i saw the competition mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, I want to enter it. And my dad, like without a second of doubt, my dad was like, great, I'm going to go get the camera. And then we just did it. And my dad mm -hmm. is like super fucking goofy, like goofy, goofy, I could goofy. tell, I could so tell. So he got like the best, you know, Yeah. -year -old you went to college, you went to college to I study did. broadcast journalism, I did. Right? That's insane. I did. Tell us about that. That sounds so hard. Did you have to do like papers and like <sighs> oh, homework? My, yeah. Wait, you, you have a broadcast journalist voice. Yeah, well, my reporter voice. Yeah, do, do, do the thing. Do your report, do, sexy reporter do, do, voice. Do the thing, and then and then put on an outfit, and then be really mm. misogynistic. Oh my and god, guys! I can't take that much direction. Um, <clears throat> my name is Christina Kirkman. I'm reporting live from Big Name Bitches. I'm sitting here on the couch, and my shoes are fucking hurting me. Thank you so much. <laughs> Reporting live from Los Angeles, California, I'm Christina Kirkman. Yes, that's fabulous. If you could report on anything, what would be the most, like, it would it be like global warming? Would it be something less, less serious? Like, if you could interview one person, who would it be besides Christina? Oh my I, God, guys, I didn't prep for these kinds sorry, of questions. Sorry, sorry, I didn't either. You're I don't know where that came from. If I could interview one person? I don't know, like, broadcast journalism, why did you even well, get I, into I, that? I, 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 don't, I don't know. This is what happened. Yeah, why? This is what happened. <laughs> I knew I wanted to go to college. Yeah. I knew that I loved being on camera and then I wanted to find something that blended that. Mm. And then broadcast journalism, which I loved, but the issue was we had to do everything. So we had to learn to produce, to edit, to write. I bet you know a lot it about was, the weather. Oh my, it was, it, no, it was like random things that we had to do. It was the most difficult, like I had a class where we basically had to be available 24 hours if there was any sort of breaking news we had to like go out and oh, that's do wild. it was it was fucking insane that's crazy um but i will say it was the best degree because i learned how to edit mm. and i learned how to write and, and extract value i do i mean i've all my friends reels i've edited all my friends reels wow. Oh, wow. all so of smart. like with winston well, her, stuff yeah, i do all the editing okay wait and, we need to talk about her dog her dog and then we need to talk about more interestingly Amanda Bynes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Truly, where, I mean, where are we going? So dog, I mean, we're, dog oh. first. Okay. So dog. Okay. Is, she's a momager. I of am. A very cute dog. And I find it really interesting that she, so what came first, your account or his account? My account. Okay. But I, I, I wasn't like, it was one of those like, I hate TikTok. I was in that phase. So yeah. I was just like, you know, dabbling okay. in TikTok. I wasn't, I wasn't in it yet. Okay. I was just, you know. And then we got Because he Winston. has more followers than you. He, oh, the dog? Yeah. Yes. I don't know if that's something we should... We get... Oh, we go, I go out all the time it. and people are like, oh my God, oh, you're Winston's mom. I'm like, yeah. Winston is his name. That's so proper. Yeah, I love he's, that. He's very proper. How yeah. many followers does he have? Um, he has 1.3 on TikTok and 330 on Instagram. Okay, okay I'm got, sorry. That's <laughs> fucking stupid. I, it is. That's it is, stupid. It's stupid. It's Who are these idiots following stupid. your dog? I'm Can sorry. you imagine <laughs> me having conversations when I go back to my small town in Massachusetts, like explaining this to people? They're like, what? Huh? Like, I yeah. mean, it's obviously what you're doing behind the scenes. It's so fun. I mean, no, it's, that it's is my, my full time job. And it's also very no. unproblematic. Like, when you think about the fact that she's just like enjoying her dog. Although, yeah. you did say that you don't do certain sponsorships because, like, with like, you will. You would. Are you do worried them. about your dog's mental health in the future? I, oh, well, listen, I, do, I, I am a very good momager. Dogs don't have mental I health. I write these shot lists and I, you know, I literally put him in the spot, give him a treat. We can bang them out very quickly wow. he only works like two days a week you exploit your dog how do you feel about that yeah. i know guys <laughs> you? I just you know <laughs> it's very as a smart. child actor something has to give i, right? you know, I have to do I something never wanted fucked a up pet. with my life <laughs> totally i and never wanted fine. a pet or a dog but this makes me want one i mean <laughs> i mean this, it was like money. i exploited my dog it was uh, i had a whole at club libby lou work. club libby lou was a sh was it was this little girl's like uh mall store and they were asking me to do a clothing line there. And at the time, I think I was very insecure about, oh, you know, I can't do a clothing line. I ended up doing a dog clothing line because I was obsessed with my dog who was a black and white um, French bulldog and her name was Chewy. Okay. And How she, original. I know, like, like, the, this one. like the candy bars? Like the candy bars. 
Like All the right. chewy. No, but not. Let her have it. No, but that no, was we're gonna let her have it. Had nothing let to do with the it. dog. The chewy bar had nothing to do with the dog. The dog actually ended up chewing up all of my really nice heels. So mm. they said mm. that if you name your dog something, they generally try to take oh, the, perfect take up the name. Anyway, I had a clothing line uh, with the dog, and the do- like. Some of the proceeds went to ASPCA, and oh. I would take the dog with me to different malls. You motherfucker! And you so I know I mom. I get the hustle. I get. get the I mean, hustle. listen, you gotta go where the money goes. Yeah, totally. But, but he I, like we. I keep it very. I, I you do it quick. I do it quick. Yeah. I try to. He has no idea. The only time I mean yeah I, I think I, I try my best to also do things in a way that he would be have like a good ethical, time. ethical yeah yeah totally yeah. totally and not we've turned down brands that I, I, he obviously doesn't need. like we only work with brands that we use and that we love and that I know he uses I don't want to like fuck up his diet or like give him things that wouldn't so oh. I, I try he probably to, gets a lot of swag yeah, wag, like, wag, really trying to wag, swag best. swag swag but yeah he I mean I spend all day with my fucking dog I mean it's like Aww. it really is I have a fucking blast. Okay, enough about the dog. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love so the dog. Give me the it tea. Is, it is. I, I, don't, I, I don't have dogs Wait, or so animals. We want tea about yeah. What do you want tea? Or, I, I want tea. Like, I just want to know truly about Amanda Bynes. I think about her all the time. I used to know her. We were in the same circles, and you were really, really. really? Yes, of course we all were. I yeah. saw her all the time. I mean, we dated the same person. Oh, n- what? Who? Who? Mm-hmm. Can you say? <laughs> yeah. Oh no! Oh, what, what, I mean, what was she like now? Do you? Here's what I want to know. Do you ever think about her? And, and oh my god, what, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Are you I, I mean, sad I, for her. Yeah, yeah. I mean, she was. I mean, she was like the nicest person. Yeah. Ever. Yeah. Um, she the first time I met her. So she, Amanda, one hundred percent is the reason why as a kid I wanted to do comedy. Like wow. I just she was so mass she was so her. fucking good. Yeah. Um I, I and Jim Carrey and you know okay. Vince Vaughn and I, I see honor. that in but, you. But mm-hmm. but Amanda as far as like a, a female that I felt like I could relate to, it was Amanda. I loved her so much. Yes. Um I she was like the first person that I was very starstruck over. Yeah. She was one of our judges on Are You All That? So it was Josh Peck Amanda Nick Bynes Cannon, right? and Nick Cannon. Mm-hmm. Josh Peck. And she was dating Taryn Killam at the time. <laughs> and Taryn Killam was on all that and hosted our, you know, Taryn Killam. I met Taryn Killam what a What a fucking I throwback, that relationship. Know. Taryn Killam, he's, yeah, he's cute. He's a lot. He's live. Oh. You know, he is live. Oh, he, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I mean, sorry to keep it interrupting. Ju- I just always forget this that they coconut? dated. It was just such a weird. You you got it? <laughs> you got it, you good? Girls, it might as well be real. Um... <laughs> So yeah, that was the first time I met her. And then um, she kind of, you know, during filming, she would sit with my parents and and I know my parents kind of um, look to her for some advice and her parents as well. For sure. Um, and I, my parents told me, which I said to you, uh, which my parents told me later on, that Amanda said to my parents, hey, listen, if your daughter loves acting, it will always be here for her. If she mm-hmm. decides that she wants to go home, like let her go be a kid. Yeah. And And granted, because I wasn't a child actor and my parents weren't stage parents, mm-hmm. it was always like, if you don't want to fucking do this, we'll go home. Like the second you don't like this, we're on a plane tonight totally. and we're going home. Totally. We won't look back. Yeah. Um, but now looking back and hearing, or, you know, thinking about the fact that Amanda said that, I always wonder if that was her speaking to herself, you know, like, oh, it'll, you know, if she wants to go home and yeah, totally. Uh, she was just so, she was just the kindest sweetest, most genuine person ever. Yeah, have you ever thought ever. about reaching out to her? I say this because often I think about Orlando, Orlando yeah. Brown, yeah. and I, it's it's this push-pull of whether to reach out and what that would mean for me and my stability and yeah. my sobriety. And I just, yeah, I wonder, like, if you I could f- talk to her or something, I what that. would you I say? Like, I felt that way about Shia back yeah. in the day, back in the day, yeah. yeah or course. like anyone else that we've known. That's, mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I mean, it's a hard thing. I mean, there were definitely people who had known her for much longer that are had gotten close with her over the years. Mm-hmm. I knew her for a very brief moment okay, in time. Okay, okay, yeah, then it doesn't um, make sense, yeah. But I think about it all the time. I mean, yeah. I see videos and I just like, I mean, I love, Britney was, mm. I fucking love Britney. Britney was, I mean, Jamie was on the show with us. Yeah, yeah. Um, Britney was on set all the time. Mm-hmm. Again, like the sweetest, most genuine, Everything was yes, ma'am, no, sir. Like mm-hmm, just so, mm-hmm, so, mm-hmm. so sweet. 
And it, I, yeah, I mean, it makes it's me really sad. It's just crazy because it's a second family and you get really close. Yeah. You're bonded, especially at a young age when you're growing up and you're forming your, yourself and your identity. Totally. That you become so close and people ask these questions, are you still friends? Do you yeah. still talk? Oh, people yeah. ask have, me that with yeah. Raven Orlando, the whole cast all the time. So yeah. it's I'm kind of wanting to speak for our fans right now and ask totally. you those questions because like, you did feel probably really close, but now it's like, I wouldn't I wouldn't call her. She'd yeah. be like, what the and, hell are and you doing? And keep in mind, I went, like I made the choice to leave when I left. So like at the time, my best friend was Miranda Cosgrove. We were like, Right. Wait a minute. I read. That. I, read, I, read best I, I read in Jeanette McCurdy's book. I read. Isn't that exactly. funny? Well, I read well, something I different. Read. Well, I don't read. But then she was really, really nice. <laughs> oh, she was the best. Like her inner mother. She's like she was really one of the closer friends. I mean, to I don't know how, like how time. the Disney shows were for you, but like all of us Nick kids all hung out on each other's sets. Of course. Yeah. No. So yes, we we you. all like what sets on? did you hung out? On? Sweet Life was right next door, and um, so you yeah. hung out with your best friend Ashley Tisdale. <laughs> Oh, wait, is there tea? No, oh, no. it's no, not really. No, I don't even know her. Okay. I don't okay. even know her either. Yeah, but we—I mean, we all hung out. We all went on each other's. Sh- so, like, I, I was on. I would hang out at the Drake and Josh set probably the most, and Ned's Declassified. Um, but I loved Miranda. Miranda I mean, you was were like, like my younger, but you would have crushed. She'd have crushed. Yeah, Devin. Devin was my right. was my like first like real. Not on camera crush. Who's your crush now? Are you in love? Are you sexually active? Um, I'm, ha- I'm having intercourse sometimes. You are having intercourse? Yeah, Great. I, I, wow. I don't Tell have a T-shaped I have two shoulders. <laughs> I love the callback. I love the callback. They don't know what we Tell were talking about. Tell us about that. Yeah. Yeah. You don't need to know. There's a backstory. And it's mine. Anybody you're dating? Are you like, you know, I've, I've, I've been in a relationship for three and a half years. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I You've know. You've just been to so many weddings that I'm like, I know. Is she looking for somebody at no, these weddings? No, fuck no. Mean? I mean, She's I couldn't do a wedding. You've been to a wedding? I, feel like well, I was just at a wedding. Oh, you I, were, I you know. ran in the water. I did, I did yeah. yeah. But so everybody funny. looked beautiful. But I, I haven't really been to that many weddings. I don't know why I think this. I just like probably saw one picture. And you were like, this bitch is fucking just. You just have a lot of friends. So I just like assume. I have a lot of friends. Do you not? But I'm happy that that is what my. My social media presence, as long as I can keep up with that image, that's fine. <laughs> Whatever, I'll go with it. You're you our s- friend. Perfect. Yeah. Are you still doing gymnastics? No. Um, wow, your body's so fit. I mean, I, I, every once in a while, I'll like throw a trick to make sure I have it. Usually, like after I've you know been at the bar, and I'm like, watch this, guys. I'm gonna do a double backflip. No, stop. Um, you're careful. like, look at what I'm and doing. And I, I still, here. I still got it. But the f- I, when I moved back to Los Angeles, I actually, as a kid, used to train at. LA School of Gymnastics, which is in Culver City. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And when I came back to LA, I was like, great, I'm gonna go to a class. I was like, I don't need to fucking stretch. I don't need to do shit. I'm oh, gonna no. walk up here and throw some shit. Oh, Ended up ripping my ab muscle oh. and was hospitalized. Ab muscle. Got it's so random. It, I ripped the ab muscle and then the blood formed like a hernia and then I was out of commission for like a year. Oh, honey. So <laughs> to answer your question, yeah. No, <laughs> um, but I, I, right I can now. do like handstands and splits and that, you know, I, I I, like that. my party tricks are like uh, off the fucking chain. What do you yeah. think about Simone Biles and Ooh. all of those women um, who have been doing gymnastics, you know, obviously for what is it? The Olympics, I want to say. God, yeah, gonna, she's going to come back, I think. fucking bless. Mm-hmm. Right? Like wow. that shit. It takes a toll on your damn body. And you reach an age, it's so weird, like you all of a sudden reach an age where you're like, oh, I could fucking die. Mm-hmm. And then you just, you, like that fear comes in yeah. because you're like, you progress so fast as a kid mm-hmm. because you have no fear. I'm like, mm-hmm. yeah, I'll do this, watch the shit. And then all of a sudden I remember when I came back, I think maybe I was 13 and I remember it's things started clicking like, I can get really hurt. I don't wanna, I don't wanna do this. Right, right, yeah. right. So people that can like, sustain that and do that long term well and blessing. especially when you think about Simone who who had so much trauma surrounding yeah. her sport and had that you know what was it her mental block that yeah. she had mm-hmm. and now that's she's a like normal, coming back to yeah, it yeah that's that is a thing that happens mm-hmm. I remember when I was training in Los Angeles I hadn't been training for like six months between moving to Massachusetts to LA mm. and I was training with a Russian coach mm. and I was like, hey, would you mind spotting me for something? I had a really bad mental block mm-hmm. and he was like, we don't do spots. And I was like, okay. What? He's like, get over it. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. That, and that's a lot of what you get in gymnastics. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's rough. Yeah. It's, it's really rough. Yeah, no it's pace. really fucking dramatic. Like, yeah. dude, just put your fucking hand there and let me fucking do my, <laughs> my fucking Yeah, it reminds me of like, yeah, the ch- child's but stuff. But it teaches very, you yeah. high performing Yeah, children. I mean, like, it teaches you great discipline, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know, definitely trauma, but like, mm-hmm. I feel like ice skating, anything, any, well, yeah. I mean, in general, like all the things I've always been talking about and Alison Stoner has been doing a whole podcast Wow, yeah, she's called so Dear Hollywood. That's, yeah, yeah. She's killing it with yeah. that. Have and you had like, her on? 
I've had her on oh. Vulnerable twice. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. Um, and then we talked about uh, ho- like maybe helping co-produce that Dear Hollywood yeah. for her, but she didn't need it. And she's doing her own thing, and I'm so proud of it. Mm-hmm. But th- we talk a lot about high-performing children, yeah. which, again, is kind of serious. But like it is, it's, it is really wonderful to see someone like yourself that's like s- having so much fun. I remember when we spoke, you go, I'm going back to L.A., because I do love to perform and I do love this. And it's like, mm-hmm. you know, Christina Kirkman knows her why. Like, that's what I got from this entire conversation. It was Aww. like, your why is because you're entertaining people on your terms now, whether it's through social, through your dog, your dog's point of view. Yeah. Like, it's a lot of fun to like, I've done it too. Or I use my yeah, cat's yeah. point of view. I mean, being able to hide behind it yeah. and like not, because you, as an actor, uh, you know, as a content creator, you are so hypercritical of yourself mm-hmm. and what you post and what you do and every single fucking move that you make. Mm-hmm. Whereas, like, when I, it's my dog, I can just go balls to the wall and kind of like hide behind that. Mm-hmm. And it's very freeing. But yeah. I think, to your point, I appreciate you saying that. I, I, I feel like knowing my why is because I took a 15 year break Mm -hmm. to like figure out my fucking why. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people that act as children and then stay in it, they never have a chance Mm -hmm. to figure out why. What are you talking about? Yeah, I mean, it's it's like when you grow up like, religious as a kid and then you reach an age where you're like am I doing this because I believe in it or am I doing this because this is just what I've been doing and you have to take that moment to like figure those things out you know about Rum Springer you all know about Rum Springer right what oh oh, oh, is that where they all go and like do the crazy things so Amish Amish people when they come of age they have this season called Rum Springer yeah where they can choose to leave the church forever or they can come back to the church and be more pious and like settle down and start being like Jebediah. We got it. What is the what is the, the percentage of that? Yeah, exactly. I, I, so how many people? But leave? well, a lot of them get into drugs immediately. Okay. Because there's drug dealers that left. Right. Right that, 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 that it's like mm. a cycle, and a lot of them like leach onto of these course. other ones. Of course. And um, I think there's like a documentary on it online and stuff, and and it's yeah, it's called Rome Springa, and it's fucking fascinating. Yeah, I mean that, that's an ex- it's an ex- extreme thing to just kind of be like okay and now you're just gonna yeah just go out into the world I think yeah. the idea is that you're cast into the world right after you've had this structure and this comfort and this nurturing of the community and then you're like wait wait wait, this doesn't yeah. feel right I and then you're fooled into being like no I chose this life because I, I and I told you this when I went back to Massachusetts I was like fuck no I am never acting again mm, I want yeah. no part of this yeah my experience going back was bad yeah um, she should have stayed you think you should have stayed yeah I read that you, th- you were like ah, it's gonna be easy I'm I gonna mean, get an agent so. oh yeah I was so fucking cocky mm-hmm. when I came back mm-hmm. out here I was like I was a series reg I know people I'm gonna be fine mm-hmm. yeah and I hadn't acted in 15 years people didn't know what to do with me because they were like you're still very small but now you have this deep voice mm-hmm. like you haven't done anything in 15 years and I had to just accept the fact okay if I'm gonna do this I need to let go of the all that thing and mm-hmm. I need to just start all over and be very green yeah and like be the worst kid in acting class mm-hmm. be I the I, and I, so I, I did it you I yo I was fucking humble man I was working three jobs I was working as a hostess I was working at the front desk of Equinox mm-hmm. I was barely making rent I was like I was doing the thing mm-hmm. because I had a moment of okay you need to really love this if you're gonna do this because mm-hmm. I, like this I had a I did I was offered like great jobs getting paid great money and I turned it down. So I'm like, okay, I'm definitely Delulu. So I'm perfect for this industry. <laughs> Delulu. <laughs> because it's like, that. your, yeah. your new show is going to be called Delulu. Listen, Delulu is you need to be Salulu. a little bit, I mean, you need to be a lot of bit Delulu. Speaking, to be. speaking of um, Delulu. Delulu. Delulu and your show, what is next for you professionally and personally? Oh. Or your goals. Like, um, what do you want to be doing this time? I, this I year? wrapped two films before Wonderful. everything that's going on right now. Wonderful. Very exciting. Yeah. Um, I'm ju- I'm done fucking planning. Like I, mm. I, 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 what a, what a theory. Like I'd love to, that's amazing. You're living in the moment. Yeah, I, I, and that's a lot for me to say because I've always been like, I'm going to be on SNL, I'm going to f- do this, I'm going to do stand up. And then I kind of was just like, everything that I wanted to happen did not happen in the right. way it was supposed to. Right. I did not think that I would be making money from my dog. So it's just like, I'm whatever's supposed to, as long as I get to still entertain people and help people in some way and like do the things that I love. Mm-hmm. And contribute You're, to society. Ideally, like I would love to be a series reg on like, uh, you know, a show. I want to go back in time and be on that show, um, Scrubs. All right, rapid fire questions. Oh. You ready, Christina Kirkman? If you don't say these rapidly fast, right, I hold swear on, to God. hold on, Okay, okay, okay. I drank okay. my whole cocktail. I know, yeah. it was fucking good. It was delicious. It was very okay. good. You very have to pee? Delicious. Okay, yeah, but so no, super fast no, no, she has to pee. It, it, oh my gosh. How good. often do you floss, Christina Kirkman? Oh, not often. At all. So sorry. Okay. What do you listen to in your car? Um, I listen to mostly rap. 
I like jazz for a nighttime drive. Mm -hmm. uh, do you believe in soulmates? I don't believe that you have one soulmate. I believe that everybody could have the potential to have multiple. Hmm. Oh no. I don't know if that would be a soulmate. <laughs> I, I don't, the world is too big. There's not one person on the earth that you were destined to be with. I, I think so you can. Agree. practical. Yeah. I so agree. And your boyfriend's probably really worried right I'm now. I'm so sorry. I love it, babe. <laughs> I'm just kidding. What about, oh, I like this one because I know what it is for me. Okay. Favorite body part. I'm just going to say it. It's your legs. For me? Yeah. Um, I, I would say uh, my back and um, my clavicles. <laughs> I'm so glad I asked that one. You're kinky, huh? <laughs> Somebody's gonna help. Show me what. Show me what a clavicle. Oh, is this I'm a like, clavicle? She's a freak. These are your clavicles. Clav I like the word clavicle. Those are some too. random parts of the body. You're welcome. Be. Like I mean, you're welcome. Now everyone's I'm everyone's about fucking Urban Dictionary. What the fuck is a clavicle? <laughs> Who's your hero? My hero? Rapid fire? That's a fucking rapid fire question, know, right? It seems too dark and deep. You're What's in your fridge? Right. Uh, energy drinks, coffee, eggs, and yogurt. That's great. And dog food. Oh, God, no wonder you've got that body. Cannonball <laughs> into the pool or dip a toe first? Uh, cannonball. <laughs> yeah. We're not, dipping, we're not dipping nothing. Uh, Raven or even Stevens? <laughs> Don't make her answer that. And I, I swear am. to God, it, it was on the Stevens page on and therefore I asked it. Raven. Oh, <gasps> I wasn't expecting that. It's because even Steven is old. It's, I didn't. I, ah, I didn't. So old. Nobody even remembers. Okay, but it's like, like a black Hold and on. white. I don't Kim, know you Kim right Possible now. or Raven? Kim Possible. I did. I, I, I didn't watch Even Steven. Okay, so Kim Possible. It's so Kim old. Possible over Raven. Yeah. Oh. So do you guys? Okay, fine. Everybody's happy. That's the PC answer. We got both of them. Everybody. Right. It's, awesome. it's a win-win. It's a win-win. Christina win. Kirkman, please go follow her. Please go follow her. And um, is there anything else you want to tell us, Christina? What do you want to fucking know? Just like the most gossipy, I mean, gossip. God, juicy. I wish I had. Who tea. did you sleep with? That you, we would. That who's, who's the most the, famous who's person the, you slept yes, with? Who's the most famous person you slept with? I can't answer that. I know, Why right? Not? You can't either. Why not? I've slept I with so many famous guys I, I can't tell you really? about. Oh my God, a million. Stop it. Stop, Stop it, you dirty bitch. Oh my God, so many. Wait, really? Oh my I don't, God. can't she tell has a, she's she, lying. She is, but she's playing okay. it off really well. <laughs> okay, but you know she's, she did, but she, there's like a she few. She did. There's a few. She's she's reverse few. psychology us. Yeah. Right, so perfect. I'm a mediator now because because like, I can't talk to you anymore after saying that my show was after that. Well, I already say, I literally gave you guys initials. I don't have any person I dated that You know everybody right Right now is like doing the I mean, dive. I sure as hell hope so. Guys, make sure you subscribe, rate, and follow. Buy our merch. Just support us. We love you guys. Love us back. Lo love you all. Constructive and thank you criticism for being in the love comments, love. please. But give her some love. Christina Kirkman in the house. Thank you, baby. I love you. Can't wait to see what you do next. Same. Thanks for hanging, you big name bitch. Now come back next Thursday so we can do it all again.